All right, welcome back to the Good Morning Ninja Show. For those who are not there with us from the beginning, I believe say so you don't see say we give on the things where we tell on say we go give on. Well, it's been on the journey so far from the top stories to the newspaper reviews to our better first guest where we talk to uh, Lucas Akande, we be cinematographer, and uh, we still get our second guest where we go jump into the the, the matter. And I remember say we they talk say I talk say we they talk to an author in the right book and uh, uh, that's what they call Okunola uh, Abiodu na author and uh, this whole conversation of being an author now we would like look into this morning. Uh, good morning and welcome to the Good Morning Ninja Show. Yeah, good morning. All right, all right. Uh, thank you for joining us uh, because we know say a lot of things, a lot of uh, technical things don't they involved and uh, this is not the new situation we find ourselves due to coronavirus with the regards to do our interviews via uh, you know, the internet. So as it be, so now culture, what would they do on top of the show? We like to ask our guests how are they? Honestly, because we know say pandemic don't they, things don't change. So honestly, how are you? Well, I am fine. Um, we've been indoors for months and mm -hmm. um, it's just relaxing now and uh, it's getting well, it's getting well. And personally, I'm fine. And the situation there is calm. Uh, Everything do okay. Okay, I like the fact that uh, you are you are you are honestly fine. <laughs> it's good. So we want to start this conversation of uh, uh, being an author. Let's, let's even start with you. How did it begin for you, and how long have you been doing this? Well, I because for one of the books I'm writing now, I am trying to let the world know that. Even there is nobody who is a first class student and nobody is a failure. There are some people, there are people who have first class in their career, but are actually first, are actually failures in other fields. Mm -hmm. And there are people with, that are failures in what they are doing now, but are first class students in other fields. Yes. So for me, I, I, I studied science, but in the long run, I had had this passion to write. And I had some very interesting mentors. That's what, that is Professor Wolesheinka. I read his books, and it was his mentorship that really grinded and builded me to become a writer. Mm. My love for literary works and my love for the sound of words all combined to make me a writer. Mm. Okay. And, and how long have you been doing this? Thank you. All right. Um, that is the new normal. Sorry. Okay, it's a new normal. We uh, understand. I've been doing this for over ten years. I've been doing this for over ten years. Okay. Ten years now. That's that's so, quite interesting. That's really really interesting. So let's even look at the, the conversation of, uh, like you said, you had to get mentors. To be able to, you know, to you I had to look up to some certain people to read how they write and things like that. And your love for words. Now, for to be a good writer, what what are those yeah. things you would say you must have? Those attributes you must have to be a good writer. Yeah, I would say writing. Writing is. Um, you have to be led. It's just like, uh, you know, today there are proliferation of writers as well as, as well as um, people who name themselves as men of the world. Mm -hmm. So be a good man of God. Yeah. A lot of times uh, we believe that we will be calling to be a good writer. Mm -hmm. Not a divine calling, maybe from heaven or heavenly forces, but there must be something that you need to address. There must be a story that you need to tell. Okay. Not just people are making money from writing, let me go and write. If you look at Walesha Yenkaf, uh, Professor Walesha Yenkaf has remained the conscience of the masses, the conscience of a nation that is lacking conscience, the conscience of Africa. That is what Walesha Yenkaf has portrayed himself to be. Mm. So you must have something a story you really want to tell, something you really want to correct, social ills that you really want to set straight, that you mm -hmm. want to put right before you begin to write. Not just because there is money there 
they will be popular. That is not the idea. It is having a story and something worthy of discussion. Yeah. If you look at um, the late Professor Chima Achebe, it was actually his book, Things Fall Apart. Yeah. That I read when I was in secondary school, early of my secondary school days, and I felt I love, I love the way this man tells a story. Mm. Then I began to reflect on my own life and the situation of Nigeria. Then it occurred to me that I would like to tell a story like this man has told. Then I read several other of his books mm -hmm. to understand his way of writing, and I loved it. Okay. You know, from the first day I read in, uh, Chim Amanda Adichie's uh, um, Popular Business. Okay. I knew immediately that she was a protege of of the sounds of our words. Okay. You can tell. Now, but when you read, but when I later grew up a little bit, I, you know, I didn't grow up in the Southwest and I didn't study science. My, I didn't study art, I studied science. Yes, like most of my friends, yeah, no, most of my friends, a lot of people read literature and all that. But there was this GLOW advert. When GLOW came in then, I think around 2002, 2000, when they started doing GLOW advert, there was another day used to be circulation in And it was in that advert that I saw him for the first time. Okay. And I began to gather his books. When I read them, so that was when I started to follow him on CD until I eventually met him in person. Mm -hmm. So he has his work, his writing, sometimes I read his essays and all that, they have been guiding forces in my writing. Interesting. So I think to be a good writer, you need a very, very good mentor. Mm -hmm. And you need to read wide so that your mind is enlarged and you have what to say. Hmm. Interesting. You read some books, they are dry, because the author himself has not read. Hmm. Now, the reason why I ask that is because uh, there's also a conversation that uh, to be a good uh, people are asking to be a good writer. Do you have to uh, study it in a certain way, get certified? I mean, to be to write a book now as an author that you are to to write a book, do you need to get a certificate or do you need a certain process to be to be completed before you can come out and say, okay, I am ready or I am qualified? to write a book? Um, yes, somehow you can't fault training in any field of life. Yeah. But art, some people are, some geniuses are born. When Chino Achebe wrote things fall apart, mm -hmm. for instance, it was, it was still, it was still, I mean, quite young. Polishen Car wrote one of his best books, The Interpreters, at the age of 28 or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. Now, you'd have doctors, medical doctors, who have written the best literary works, who never got any training. Mm -hmm. Now, but you also have people who have, who have gotten the training and have written very, very good works and even bad works. True. So in, in writing, you don't particularly need to be trained. You need to have the well of words hmm. to be able to communicate. Then aside that, you need to train. Training is not maybe institutional training, like you are taking to a particular place to get the, the, the training. You yeah. can train yourself, you can know, read several books, and understanding how to communicate your own, your own message, reading is part of training. Mm -hmm. There are people that are, that are homeschooled. They never went to school, and they are just homeschooled. Yeah. People are geniuses. Yes. That just, so if you have a story in your mind that you really, really want to tell, you don't need to say, because I did not study literature, let me not 
delve into it. There is this calling that will always come to your heart that mm -hmm. you have this story to tell. Please tell it. You can start writing. And the next thing, you will be better than even those that will train. I'm not pushing aside the importance of training, of training or going yeah. to school or whatever. That is very important too for those that may be cultured into it. But there are some people that are naturally writers. Mm -hmm. And they have gathered enough words before writing. Hmm. One of the young men that inspired my writing was in secondary school. He was just an SS1, a science student. He was the best student in physics, chemistry, and every other science uh, subject that we were doing in secondary school. Yeah. But this young man was a writer from SS1. He's a, he, he, he holds um, a bachelor's in. Uh, uh, materials engineering today, but I can tell you that this guy now works in the studio in Uyo, mm -hmm. where he produces plants and things like that. Mm -hmm. He has never used his materials engineering because there are some gifts is higher than education. True. If you are given the gift naturally to do something, it is higher than what you are educated. That is why we have people who go to school and cannot use their certificates these days because yes. their training is different from their calling. Yes. We must ensure that these two things go hand in hand. Hmm. One of the re education that our society needs to do is to ensure that children are taught and are discovered early to understand what is their natural calling so that when they study their calling and their gift, Education becomes a play. Hmm. But right now, education is a burden because these children, they do not, many of them do not know where they are going. And some of them do not know where, they just hear what society claim as being good. Yeah. It's good to be a professor of physics, it's good to be a scientist, it's good to be a doctor, a lawyer. Mm -hmm. And you see somebody less for us, for humanity to read. Interesting. It's 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 quite. Um, I like the fact. I I I like the fact that you said that uh, there are people who are born with uh, with with this uh, ability, and uh, there are people who have to probably go and learn for that. Not ruling out the fact that you can learn and become a good author, but you can still be born with this talent. Okay, just to wrap this up here, I would just like to ask you uh, the final question regarding. Uh, the, 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 the books you've written, which would you say was your most exciting one and why did you choose that one as the one that really got all of you into it? Yes, I wrote um, The Privatization of National Peace. Okay. And why did you write that? Why, why, what, what the was first your... discourse of Nigeria and mm -hmm. Like I told you, I studied science. Yes. I was I wrote that when I was in studying biochemistry in Olabison Obanjo University. Okay. But I later found out even my dean used to say, What are you doing in this class? Go and study politics or law or something or or literature. Mm -hmm. So it was during that period I wrote that to document the, I mean, the grievous act of violence yeah. in the form of governance is being done to the Nigerian people. And I still feel that it's my best book for many reasons. One, I have not engaged in writing book per se since then because I've gone into the academic. I've not okay. gone into writing literary books, whatever since then. Okay. Because I had to rediscover myself. I had to go back to school to study another degree after I graduated. Mm -hmm. So I have been in the course of that for at least about seven, eight years now. So I'm wrapping that up and I'm bringing up another another set of on what I just discussed with you about everybody being a first class mm -hmm. that let's so let's, let this child go and study what you think the child is naturally good at so that the child can become an exceptional human being 
Yeah. I'm going to write a book on that. Then I have seen other social problems, like Nigerians who burden their people abroad, send money here, send money there. Mm. I want to let them understand because the people here, I have discovered that the people abroad are hiding a lot of wounds. Mm -hmm. Many of them cannot discuss with their families. Definitely. I'm yes. actually not as, as you think. I've, I've come to discover that a lot of people abroad are not as big as people, people feel in Nigeria. And I want to write in their voice to let people at home know that a lot of our youths, Nigeria is not moving forward today, largely because many of our youths knew that except you travel abroad, you cannot make it. Mm -hmm. I want, they have sent their dreams, they have sent their future abroad. They are only traveling abroad to meet their dreams. To meet the future. So I want wow. to correct. I want to correct that social ill. Yeah. There yeah. is truck everywhere. There is poverty everywhere. And you can make it right there in Nigeria. And Nigerians should stop the act of sending their future and dreams abroad and only waiting empty in Nigeria. Mm. That until they travel to meet their dreams and future, they can never make it. So that is those are part of the books I'm working on now. Okay. But the best is still the privatization, which is my best book. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you very much for this conversation. And uh, because the of time, that um, it still tells of the calamities. Oh. Wicked, wicked. Oh, I think we're having a bit of network situation, though. Uh. All right. Uh, I, I, I apologize for the network situation. It's what we are faced with right now, being the fact that uh, this is how we have to run our uh, interviews over the internet. But uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Okuanla Abiodun, for the conversation and uh, the fact that we're talking about being an author and the things it takes to be an author and how you who watching me there can also decide, okay, I want to write a book. The things you need to put in place first. Uh, that was our very first conversation, our second conversation we had. But uh, due to some technical network issues, we could not finish that up as planned. But to enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.